is TFNN. The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone, on this Wednesday, the 9th of November. And this is the Tiger Financial News Network 10 a.m. market update. Of course, I follow the hour that uh, Tommy O'Brien does his market kickoff. Fabulous show. We're looking at the Dow right now, uh, down 270 at 32,884. Very strong move yesterday. Uh, going to a leg E in the chat wave. That's kind of where we want to get cautious. Uh, the technicals are still very good at this particular point, but just on a purely Chapman Wave notational basis, D and E is where you start to see some kind of uh, potential for the weakness. And um, how long it lasts is going to be very important because if we do take out the 200 period moving average of 32,310 as support, it says it could last a little longer than just a couple of days. We're looking at the S&P at this particular point also down. Down 28 to 37.99. Now, it didn't have nearly as nice a chart pattern as the Dow. Dow's the leader, and the S&P is following, but quite weakly. So this is not very good. Uh, definitely this week, you don't want to see a close below 37.50 because that'll start to look like an H pattern going to retest the left side low. QQQ didn't have such a great uh, a week and it had a kind of a long-legged doji candle. It's in the lower range right now, down 275 at 266.70. It's just really struggling. IWM, the Russell 2000. Is a little bit better chart, but it is forming a potential H pattern here. It must hold the 173 level uh, this week. Is at 177.40 down 216. It must try really to get back to the 178s. You're looking at the gold contract, which had a spectacular uh, out of the last five sessions. It's had two huge candles, and today it's still holding well. It's up one at 1717. This is important because if the if the if the gold continuous contract starts to trade above 1745, that's a pretty significant breakout to the upside, both in the daily and the weekly chart. We're looking at the dollar uh, kind of struggling a little bit here to rally. It's up 64 ticks at 110.25. It has gone to a lower low on the left side. So we're going to be watching this because I'll talk about this in my show coming up. The Tiger Technicians Hour with the expanding wedge formation and those lower support level, which it broke yesterday and it's just above today, is important. We're looking at crude oil. Uh, crude oil is pulling back. PT, I think crude oil is going to pull back a little further. And we'll talk about bonds when I return for the Tiger Technicians Hour. Check out my opening call, Daily News Network.